right, folks, thanks for joining us. My name is Randy Howell. Welcome to the Spokane Barbecue Company. Hey, football season's in full swing, so I just kind of thought, hey, maybe we'll make something that's um, game day related. So I'm going to do a sheet pan of nachos. You and the guys can sit down, and the gals, don't get me wrong, don't start sending me emails. Everyone can enjoy it. Um, but just a pan of nachos, it's great. I do them on the Traeger, and we're going to go ahead and make those today. Stick around, you're going to want to see this. Thanks for sticking around. All right, so pretty simple stuff, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna take some some of my favorite tortilla chips and lay them out on the pan. <clears throat> what I like about cooking them on the Traeger is that when you heat these up, you get that nice, crisp, kind of restaurant quality flavor, that texture to them. And so I'm just gonna lay these out kind of single row um, the best that I can. Make them pretty nice. There, something like that. We might need a couple more. Just to fill in the gaps. Now the way I'm making these, a little different than what you, you can make them as. Um, we got little ones eating these, so we're gonna keep it pretty mild, but you can put the jalapenos, you got leftover pulled pork, you got leftover brisket, you can dice and chop that up, put it in here. Um, but I'm just going to use some good old fashioned taco meats, all I'm going to do. And I'm just going to nicely spread this around, good layer, just like that. I like that. There you go. Every bite's going to have a little bit of something. And then I'm going to put just some, just some Mexican style cheese that I got at the grocery store. Um, just kind of get that melted on top. Just like this. Get a good handful of it. Just like that. I'm going to do a few more chips over the top of that. We're gonna build this up nice and nice and big. Couple more. There we go. I'm gonna do a little bit more taco meat over the top of this, and you guessed it, a little bit more cheese. Now, if you want to incorporate some onions into this, like I said, jalapenos, onions. Uh, all kinds of stuff just to spice it up make it a little bit nicer absolutely guys this is just how we're doing it tonight Monday night we got games tonight so the kids are gonna be eating on these so I like to keep them pretty pretty mild and normal um, I don't need the kids running through the house with their mouth on fire so just like that now folks I'm gonna go stick this in the Traeger so we got the Traeger heated up and uh, we're just going to put this in for a few minutes. We just want those chips to get warm, that taco meat to warm up a little bit, and melt that cheese. You're going to get that nice wood fire flavor on top of it, so that's kind of an added flavor that's nice. But uh, these things are going to be good, folks. Stick around. You're going to want to see the end. Welcome back. Those nachos are done, folks. So we're going to pull them out, dress them up, and start eating. So let's check these bad boys out. That's what you're looking for. Nice crispy chips, cheese is melted. Oh, meat's looking good. Now I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put, uh, let's go with these, so just some, some nice onions over the top. 
I know. I don't want to put too many, but. No comments about my dicing skills. Sorry. I got some crazy onions in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of some garden fresh tomatoes right on top. Just like that. Spread them out. Just like that. And a couple more. There we go. And then I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm going to do a little dollop. So I'm going to put my sour cream on here. And this is assuming everybody likes sour cream. If you don't, I wouldn't put it on there. <laughs> Something like that. Just kind of make it nice. We have a dotted line here. Let's fix that. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to take a bit of this guac. Just kind of do it like that, I guess. And that way you can dip around it if you don't like guac. I know there's people out there in the world that don't like guac. I'm going to dress it with a little bit of green onion just for some color, a little bit of flavor. There you go, folks. Pan of game day nachos. Did I do it? Mm hmm. I'm going to eat more. These are great. Came out awesome. It's, um, it's that crispiness that I'm telling you about when you cook them and you heat those chips up. Man, the texture and it just brings out the flavor in those chips that are great. So, have at them, folks. I hope you have a good game day. Um, I know I'm going to. Go Hawks. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, have a great day.